Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You are watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we're tracking for you on Wednesday, the 30th of August. Rahul Gandhi says China has taken away India's land. A BJP calls remark absurd. Pakistan ex-PM Imran Khan's jail custody extended for 14 days in cipher case. An Indian chess wizard Pragananda returns to rousing welcome in Chennai. Now for all the details. A day after China issued a new map depicting the Indian regions of Arunachal Pradesh and Ladakh as Chinese territory, opposition lawmaker Rahul Gandhi has called it a serious issue and demanded clarification by Prime Minister Narendra Modi on China's activities along the Indian border. He reiterated that China intruded upon the Indian land and alleged the PM's assertion on Chinese transgression was a lie. The ruling BJP in response said that Rahul Gandhi has trust in China but not in India's foreign ministry. I was saying that the Pradhan Mantri Ji has said that I have come from Ladakh. So the Pradhan Mantri Ji has said that in Ladakh there is not one inch of land. This is a big deal. The whole Ladakh knows that China has lost our land. So this is a big deal about the map, but they have taken the land. तो उसके बारे में भी प्रधानमंत्री को कुछ कहना चाहिए नहीं मुझे लगता है राहुल गांधी को ये समझ नहीं आ रहा है कि ये चीन ने जो किया है मैप जो जारी किया है उसके खंडन ऑलरेडी हमारा एक्सटर्नल अफेयर्स मंत्रालय ने किया है दिस इज नंबर वन नंबर टू जो कुछ भी हुआ है अगर हमारा लैंड चीन ने कुछ एनक्रोच किया है तो ये जवाहरलाल नेहरू जी के कालखंड में हुआ है जी इनको इतिहास पता नहीं है तो इसलिए ऐसे बोलते ही रहते हैं इंडिया फॉरेन मिनिस्ट्री ऑन ट्यूजडे सेट इट हेज लॉन्च अ स्ट्रॉन्ग प्रोटेस्ट थ्रू डिप्लोमेटिक चैनल्स अगेंस्ट द चाइनीज स्टैंडर्ड मैप इन अ स्टेटमेंट फॉरन मिनिस्ट्री स्पोक्स पर्सन सेट सच क्लेम्स नो बेसिस एंड इट विल ओनली कॉम्प्लिकेट द रेजोल्यूशन ऑफ द बाउंड्री क्वेश्चन The provocation by Beijing comes a week ahead of the Chinese President Xi Jinping's visit to New Delhi for the G20 summit. The relation between the two Asian giants have turned sour since a border clash in 2020. India has maintained relations cannot be normal until China starts adhering to past agreements. And heavy rains have swelled the Brahmaputra River in India's Assam state and led the inundation of nearby flood plains. Locals said they have been facing the wrath of rains as water has barged into their homes, bringing life to a standstill. They lamented that they are struggling for basic amenities like food and drinking water. The incessant rains, especially from Sunday, have caused a lot of inconvenience. रहना का जगह भी नहीं है अभी रास्ता में रह रहा है लोग बहुत तकलीफ हो रहा है Heavy monsoon rains are a yearly occurrence in Assam, resulting in flooding and landslides, which force residents to flee their homes, often leaving behind their belongings. And a Pakistani court on Wednesday extended the jail custody of former PM Imran Khan for 14 days to investigate him on charges of leaking state secrets, his lawyer said. The special court held the proceedings at Atok Jail, where Khan began a three-year prison sentence in August for corruption after being found guilty of unlawfully selling state gifts. A court suspended that sentence on Tuesday, but he was barred from leaving the jail as he was still under remand in the official secrets case. Khan has denied any wrongdoing and said the accusations against him are politically motivated. Khan supporters believe the courts are being used to keep him out of a national election that is due later this year but could be delayed till early 2024. And crumbling infrastructure in Pakistan-occupied Kashmir has continued to afflict lives of the locals in the region. Our report. The poor condition of roads and absence of proper education and healthcare facilities have continued to make life miserable for residents of Pakistan-occupied Kashmir. 
Locals say the authorities do not pay any heed to their request and accuse that it is part of Islamabad's agenda to keep the illegally occupied region underdeveloped. They say their patience has given way after no hospitals, schools and basic facilities are in sight to be developed in near future. एक ऐसा आलम है कि यहाँ पर कोई गवर्नमेंट नाम की चीज़ नहीं है एक वजी अजम साहब बैठे हुए हैं उनको टस से मस नहीं है वो अपने जतीी काम किए जा रहे हैं वो यहाँ से प्रोजेक्ट शिफ्ट किए जा रहे हैं लेकिन मुजफ्फराबाद को तोजो नहीं दी जा रही अच्छा पूरे आज़ाद कश्मीर को तोजो नहीं दे रही है लोग पीने का साफ पानी मैया नहीं है आवाम बीमारियों में मुबतला है कोई चेक एंड बैलेंस नहीं हो रहा People of Pakistan administered Kashmir have been waiting for years now for a better administration that can work for their development. However, corruption and ignorance of the system has become a major challenge for the growth of the region, leaving its future in dark. And the World Health Organization in its latest report has issued a clear warning about the situation of women in Afghanistan as every day around 24 mothers lose their lives due to preventable maternal causes. The report underscores the grave risk to millions of lives due to food insecurity and malnutrition amplified by infectious diseases, ongoing outbreaks and a harsh drought. It reveals a shocking increase in the demand for humanitarian assistance, soaring to 28.8 million people in 2023 from 18.4 million before the Taliban assumed power in 2021. Since seizing control, the Taliban has issued several orders barring many Afghan female NGO and human employees from being able to work, which aid agencies have warned would severely hamper delivery in the conservative nation. And moving on, in order to attract tourism, authorities in Nepal's Bhaktapur have introduced water cycling in the famous Napuku pond built in the 18th century. People who experienced pedaling over the water surface expressed their happiness that the dirty and smelly pond, until a few years ago, has now become clean. The local body has made it mandatory to wear life jacket and has hired a professional diver for the safety of the people. Uh, first time, oh, yeah, I see. I saw money, middle life, my first time. I see life cycling very good. Pohara, the huge border, ma. On if somebody has salary, media, the Hugo, where on if it's the Azimazon with the money special party, where they were on each of the experience got on it. I'm not doing as a mother. Also, ma'am, the Yapoga Nagarico Potas Jury, I'm also the Osa, say, Rai Lago Lavo, and they say. दिउसो हराङराङे धेरै मान्छे आउनुहुन्छ र धेरै मान्छेहरु फिर्ती पनि हुनुहुन्छ अनि लगभग लगभग 100 जोडीको हाराहारीमा 75 देखि 100 जोडीको हाराहारीमा हुन्छ दैनिक वेल अर्लियर नापुकु वाज अ स्टॉप फर लोकल्स रिटर्निंग फ्रॉम देयर फार्मिंग एक्टिविटीज टु वॉश देमसेल्व्स देयर लाइफ स्टॉक एंड देयर टूल्स दिस न्यू रिक्रिएशनल एक्टिविटी हैज फर्दर मेड द पॉन्ड पॉपुलर and R. Pragnananda, the young Indian chess prodigy who had a dream run in the recently held World Chess Championship, arrived back home in Chennai to a rousing welcome. Take a look. Celebrations erupted in India's Chennai city on Wednesday as Indian chess grandmaster R. Pragnananda returned back home after a successful World Cup campaign last week. The young chess prodigy was presented with shawls and bouquet by fans and officials of Tamil Nadu Sports Department who were present at the airport since morning to welcome him. Yeah, I feel really happy to see many people like this recognizing and uh, this is just a uh, yeah, very good feeling. I think this is what every sportsman dream of and uh, I'm very happy to get that. And I think this is, um, this is the moment chess is... It shows chess is growing and I'm very happy to see that. Yeah, it's amazing. Like, uh, I mean, I've witnessed something like this when, like 10 years back when Vishyan and Sir had won World Championship match. Like, we are fantastic welcome. We went to airport actually to this event. We were one of them and it's amazing to see that Prague is getting the same love and from all the people, uh, from the school management, the government and I mean, the, all the people around here. I mean, it's just fantastic. Despite losing to world number one Magnus Carlsen in the final, R. Pragnananda had an excellent tournament where he defeated world number two Hikaru Nakamura and number three Fabiano Caruana. His performance has ensured his place in the 2024 candidates tournament which will determine the challenger for world chess championship. Well that's all in tonight's edition. We'll see you same time tomorrow. Good night.
Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.